Okay, this is pretty cool. This is the most interesting cable set that I've ever come across with its standout style and modular design. It's perfect for all of your tech. But there's a few things to know before buying. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. I make videos about all things tech. Now, I get quite a lot of emails from companies asking if I would like to review their products, and I can't say yes to all of them as much as I'd like to. I simply just don't have time to review everything. But every once in a while, something comes along that catches my eye, that really piques my interest. This is the Future Creative Power Cable Set by Aohi. A bit of a long name, but this is not your standard cable set. This is a very premium feel and durable modular cable set that lets you build and customise the cable length to your needs. Perfect for all of your USB-C or Lightning devices, especially if you're in the Apple ecosystem, as Apple insists on using two different connectors. These were sent to me for free to review, but this video is not sponsored, and I'll link to them below so you can check them out. You can also get 15% off using code AUHI240 at the checkout. But I really want to show you what's in the box. These are really nicely presented, plus a few different ways that you can use them and everything you need to know, so let's get to it. So this is how the cable set comes boxed. As I said, the whole product feels very premium, very high-end, and that extends to the unboxing experience too. On the back, there's a graphic detailing everything in the box, all the different cable lengths which we'll go through, and some of the specs. This cable set supports the USB-C power delivery 3.1 spec at up to 240 watts for those super power hungry devices, far exceeding, say, a MacBook. My 16-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro takes up to 140 watts for comparison, so comment below and tell me if you've got anything higher than that. Then on the front you'll see the MFI certification for lightning charging with the made for iPhone and iPad branding. And the iPod 2, rest in peace, I don't know if anyone here is still rocking an iPod day to day. I bet someone is, so let me know if you are. First gen iPod Touch was actually my very first Apple product. So opening up the box we get our very first look at the whole cable set, really nicely presented. From left to right, there's the 170cm spring cable, the 10cm USB-C to USB-C cable, the 80cm extension cable, and the 10cm USB-C to lightning cable in this box here. We've also got this silicon travel case and this spare nut, more on those later in the video. First I want to show you how you can combine each cable and how they can be used. Also, you've probably noticed that these cables are all braided for that extra durability, but there is a rubber version of the whole set that you can get. You can choose a version using the link in the description, but otherwise they're identical to this. Now, I do just want to point out that there is another very nice graphic here on the inside of the lid showing how the different cables can be attached and their different lengths, but it is all pretty straightforward. Starting first with the two shortest cables, this is the 10cm USB-C to USB-C cable, and right off the bat you'll notice just how thick this cable is, but it is still very flexible, it feels super strong, and definitely built to last. Same goes with the lightning cable, high quality thick braiding with metal connectors on either end for even more strength. And just for comparison, this is a pretty standard plastic 30cm anchor cable that I have, and you can really see the difference in the thickness on the creative power cables and on the connectors too. And I really like this yellow and gunmetal colouring too, it's very standout. These short cables are perfect for connecting to a power bank when you just need a bit of a boost and you don't need a big long cable. Plus you'll notice the LED indicator. This is on both of the short cables, it's tricolour. It'll blink yellow when fast charging, stay blue for standard charging, and turn green when there's a low current passing through, and your device is reaching almost full charge. So that's a nice touch. But what if you want to charge from a plug under the desk or a bedside table? Well, that's where the extension cable comes in. This is 80 centimeters long. It also has a Velcro cable tidy with the same top build quality as before. Here's another comparison, this time with a two meter long braided anchor cable. And again, you can see how much thicker the Alhi extension is. This has male and female USB-C connectors on either end, but on the female end, there's also a nut. So if we connect one of our short cables, we can use that nut to lock the cables together. And I did try really hard to pull them apart, but they are really well secured. And I think that Alhi says they can hold about five kilograms of force. And so now this gives us a 90 centimeter cable total length so you can plug in under a table or use a nearby plug socket to charge your phone or anything with a lightning port. Or use the other short cable for anything with a USB-C port like an iPad. And again, you can still check the charging speed from the cable using that handy LED light. 
But it doesn't stop there, we still have the spring cable. This is a coiled 170 meter cable, which is, well, springy, so it bounces back into shape, which can be both a good thing and a bad thing, as we'll see. Once more, it has male and female USB-C connectors with a nut on the female end for locking a cable into place. You can attach either of the short cables to it and a great use for this is say if you want to keep a power bank in your backpack and you want to charge on the go, you can use this cable combo to charge without having a big long dangling cable. It springs back into place but still gives you some freedom to move about. Now theoretically this combo gives you a 180 centimeter cable but not really and that's because of the coiling. Unless you are constantly putting force on the coil and pulling it apart, it is just going to want to bounce back. So you're not going to be able to just leave your phone on a table and stretch the cable out, for example, as it is just going to whip your phone right off the table. And if you do stretch it out, the force can actually be enough to pull it out of your device completely. So that is just something to be aware of. It might be the longest cable on paper, but yeah, it's very springy, which absolutely does have its uses, like charging from a backpack or charging in the car while keeping the cable tidy. Plus you can make it even longer still using the 80 centimeter extension for a potential 260 centimeter length if fully stretched out. So now you can charge from across the room or from the sofa or maybe you're out working on your laptop and you need to reach a really awkward power socket. Combining all three cables can give you that reach. As I said at the start, all these cables support USB-C power delivery 3.1 for up to 240 watt charging. Now, I don't have anything that high power to test with, but I have tested it with my fastest chargers and my MacBook. This anchor charger outputs a max of 100 watts from the C port, and charging my MacBook Pro, I measured about 80 to 90 watts or so when the MacBook was at low charge. The MacBook Pro ships with its own 140 watt charger, but USB-C charging on the MacBook Pro is limited to 100 watts anyway. So I measured about the same wattage as the anchor with the creative cable set. You can use it for data transfer, but only at about 480 megabits per second, which is USB 2 speeds. So a one gigabyte file will take about 30 seconds to transfer. If you are wanting to take this on the go, the set does come with a silicon carry case that you can use. It is squidgy with an opening on the one end, but don't do what I did and think that you can just shovel the cables inside because you'll just make a tangled mess. Instead, attach both of the short cables to the extension using the Velcro loop, Take the spring cable, attach both the ends together, and then you can slip all of these into the case far easier. And then you can just chuck this in your backpack and take it with you. So there's no denying here the build quality of the Creative Power cable set. At least in the short time that I've had these, they feel really high quality with thick braiding and metal connectors. But of course, only time will tell on that. One thing I will mention is that the nut on each cable isn't fixed to the cable itself. If you unscrew it, then it will come off. If you lose it, then there is a spare one that comes in the box, but I would have liked some sort of mechanism that keeps these attached to the cables as they could accidentally come off without you even realizing. The modularity means that you can adjust the cable length to whatever you need, but that spring cable isn't really as long as it seems as it does just always wanna bounce back, but super useful for when you need a longer cable without a lot of loose cable hanging about. But what about the price? Well, the non-braided version costs $130, with the braided version coming in at $140. So these do come with a pretty hefty price tag, but I do think that they feel really premium and built to last. With the Lightning Connector, these are perfect for anyone in the Apple ecosystem, and if Apple does switch the iPhone to USB-C in future, you're still going to be covered by the USB-C cable in these sets. The LED lights are a nice touch, plus styling-wise I think that they just look great. They certainly make a bit of a statement over standard charging cables with the metal connectors and the standout yellow cables. And absolutely top marks for presentation, I will be keeping the box because it just looks so good. I'll link to these below so you can check them out. Remember you can use code alhe 240 to get 15% off the whole set. Drop a comment and tell me what you think of them and let me know how you'd use them. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and hit the bell to see more tech videos from me. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.